competition and survival. Living organisms have the capacity to produce populations of an unlimited size if they have unlimited food and other necessary resources. But this is a situation that never lasts for very long. When there's not enough of something to go around, individuals must compete for whatever becomes scarce. And if it's something necessary for survival or desirable to the individuals of any one species, some or perhaps, perhaps all individuals can be adversely affected. Individual bluegills in a pond, for example, compete with one another for food. Populations of species within a community may compete against one another as well. Bluegills in a pond compete with green sunfish. Since both species are similar, and feed on the same prey. This spells trouble for both of species when food becomes scarce. The amount, extent, or quality of biotic, meaning living, and abiotic, meaning non-living resources needed by a species in any one place determines the environment's carrying capacity. Carrying capacity is the maximum number of individuals in a particular population that an environment can support. When there are more resources than a particular population can use, the population is below carrying capacity for that particular environment. When this happens, individuals can continue to grow and reproduce. When there are more individuals in a population than the environment can support, however, the population is above carrying capacity. Populations usually don't stay very long above carrying capacity. Once a population exceeds the habitat's carrying capacity, individuals may starve, get sick, or be forced to move to a place that can support them. Some examples of resource limits in aquatic habitats are the availability of food and cover.